Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Silvermont. If I move the camera... There are terrible demons. Ouch. Well, we need to speak to some people first things first. Skidoo! Altus. Shadow Altus. Oh yeah. Shadows indeed. Alright, let's talk to these friends over here. Abandoned here, my heart. You have a knack for timing, my fellow. I found the site of a new cross. Take this. Mikola has said as much himself. He wishes now to throw it all away. He says the act, though undoubtedly painful, will sear clean the Earth Three's wanton sin. The truth of his claim can be found at each cross, which is evidence enough to earn my belief. Go to the misshapen tree of Umbra. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows, the Earth Three faithful. Go to the misshapen tree of Umbra. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. The blood of your fellows. Th Go to the misshapen tree of Umbra. In that forsaken place. Hello again. Did you meet my compatriots? They're quite the congregation, from places as far and wide as you can imagine. Doubtless it have all come to blows at first glance, were it not for the charm kindly Mikula put upon us. This is what allows us to serve together, the work of a living god. Wondering about the horn scent, are you? True enough? In any other circumstance, he'd be at our throats. Long ago, Queen Marika commanded Sir Mesmer to purge the Tower Folk, a cleansing by fire. It's no wonder the Hornsent holds the Earth Tree in contempt. That aside, man is by nature a creature of conquest, and in this regard, the Tower Folk are no different. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war, but it's still a wretched shame. Wondering about the horn center. True enough. Long ago, a cleansing's no wonder the that aside, and in this room, they will never say just happened to put it still a wretch. We are all utterly captivated by kindly Mikula. It is what binds us together. Alright. Um. Well, this is where things start to get a little wet, for one thing. Good. Yay for rain. Um, well, there is actually... There is an area not too far over here we can drop down. I thought about you. But, again, some of these areas, like, for example, uh, somewhere around here we can drop down and there's like a little optional area right here. You can also see there's clearly something up there. But a lot of that stuff, I don't think I really need to do in a let's play. Because it's not super important. But it's, again, I'm, I'm thinking how much and what to, what to do, what show, and so on. Well, for one thing, we definitely want to go up here. There's, uh, something here. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame.
not evade the flame of my Queeling. That character has a very weird... I mean, not the voice, but when you smack him, like, ooh! Mm. Very weird. Um, yeah, I'm actually thinking... Maybe I want to use that character's... Uh, I mean, you saw it when they smacked me with it. He has a... Um, interesting weapon art, which I'm thinking maybe... Maybe use. Look at that jagged mountain over there. Looks very important, doesn't it? But we also had a note from a monk. So why don't we go see if we can pay him a visit. And also maybe grab the map. And there's the Cathedral of Manus Matir over there. Might, might, something like that. And you might be thinking, well, seeing as we hear the guy there pronounce the name does that mean Dark Souls 1 is also Manus? I don't know. Because I usually go by how they pronounce it in the game, and they're not talking about the same Manus, obviously. But Dark Souls 1, big old Hawkeye, he says Manus. So that's how I've said it, but I don't know, we actually get it for the Dragon Lord in this expansion too, which is cool. Is there anything in this little cabin? You know, let's grab the bonfire first. In fact, I, I don't really need to clear that out because my game's freezing. Because Fronts are like, meh. Certainly, let's grab this though, at any rate. What did he give us? I say he gave us, I mean, he left it. This one? I gotta be careful here too, because this guy is ridiculously powerful for some reason. Well, I say that, and then that happens. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe this is just very good because for some reason he just wouldn't. Like I got the first hit off, the first three hits, and then he just didn't do anything after that. Hmm. Uh, in intriguing though. Um, let me think. So we have a little area down there, which I think again is something I don't really need to do on camera. Then. This map right here is, I would argue, kind of bad game design. In the sense that it's very misleading for no reason whatsoever. But we'll, uh, we'll go grab that map. Because, why not? It's not too far. It also gives me a bit of time to think about what I actually want to do next. I probably will do most of these things, if only for the souls. But again, it doesn't all need to be on camera, as it'll make this let's play longer than it needs to be. Why is that there? That's really weird. Shadow Tree Fragment, and what do we have here? Bleed. There's 
really no point to be doing this. I could just run past all this, to be honest. These flowers have enraged me, however. You must die. No. Stinky. <laughs> yes, restore my juice. Am I still rocking with... Yeah, I could probably swap out an Exodus. <laughs> an Exodus. A flask of crimson tears, actually. Look at it. It's like a little baby Erdry. And they're like, oh, Marika, far from home like Spider-Man. But we still live in hope. Huh? Oh, I missed. Okay, I need to gauge that better. That's actually quite a lot of damage. Interesting. Heal from afar. Now, one of my buddies tried to use that, and apparently it just didn't really seem worth. Yeah, it's cool. Why can't we summon here? It's so weird. Uh, I probably won't be using that many NPC summons, to be honest. Like, I, I summoned later against Relana. This... Gave her, like, a million health for some reason. But, see, it's it's stuff like this which I'm trying to avoid in the let's play. Just me on a horse, just zooming. And, again, first time through these areas, I will explore very carefully. Like, I'll, I'll basically, I'll go in a circle around this, uh, not a circle, like a spiral around the edge and, like, move inwards looking for items and things, which is very time-consuming, but it also means when I come through again like this, I can pretty much just run through, unless I remember there being, oh, a specific item that's important or whatever, you know? Lots of spirals in this DLC. Helixes. Helix. Helix. Helixical? I don't know, there's, there's words. It's hard to think of words when I'm being harangued by bird ups. Um, now, there is a bonfire here, which I should try and remember to actually pick up this time. Uh, first time through this area, we were like, me and my buddy, we were like up over here somewhere. Invader was here for like. 40 minutes. Pretty much every time we would smack him, he would run hide behind an enemy. We would smack the enemy, then he would run and hide behind the next enemy. And it was like, okay, man. This is... This is why we play Seamless Co-op. <laughs> so we can actually play the game. Instead of just... Being... Wasting time. <laughs> if you haven't tried the Seamless Co-op mod, by the way, and you like playing co-op... Uh, ow. It won't stop that happening, but it will... It's really nice. It's hard to go back to the normal game. That said, one thing I do miss about invaders... Free souls, baby! Probably... A couple million souls we got just from invaders, I would say. Oh, the invaders got asked once or twice, absolutely, but 90% of the time... Which isn't because like, we're super good at the game or anything, but it was usually a 2v1 or a 3v1. I'd say we're not, we're not bad, we're decent-ish. Sometimes, though, they would get us with something that just we weren't expecting. Like, um... I... Yeah, what, what's the point of that? Stupid. Sit down. Ooh. Look at all that juice. The, um... There was a new weapon art in the DLC. Mm, I forget what it's called. It's the one where you basically dash forward and then you would do like 
anime slashes behind you where you were. Uh, it was completely broken. After I equipped that near the end of the DLC, no invader was alive for more than probably 10 seconds after they sort of physically reached our location. It's ridiculous. Uh, I think they nerfed that, which probably, yeah, they should have, but <laughs> uh, there's probably other things like it too. Um, we're coming down here, by the way, just for the map, but we'll probably start heading to, well, see, there's also, there's the area down here, but I wonder if, no, I think we'll go through more? More ruins. Let's see, does this work? Do I even have it? Oh yeah. They've not patched that. Ha! Huh. Um, yeah, they... Oh, there's the map. You're meant to... So those things are like little puzzles, then... You see the rocks I smashed? There would be more rocks like that, like hidden, I think over there somewhere. You're meant to smash those. But for some reason, Moke's Shackle just breaks it. I don't know if that's just a weird glitch or intentional. Um, there's another bonfire nearby. I'm just going to grab that real quick. There's also a divine bird spirit ash, like up there, which for some reason crashes my game. I, it might only be in Seamless, but every time... Well, not, not when my buddy summons it. When he... When he despawns it, it crashes my game. It's so weird. These giant ruins are flooded, overgrown, and split into two by a chasm. The southwest is the Church of the Bird, overlooking the Tower of Shador. Yeah, because this is just ridiculous. Why... Like, the map should be up in this area, which is, like, all way above me. Like, the map should have been, like, right here somewhere. But instead, they put it down here, where it looks like you can get it from, like, you know, over here, like, over there, but... Uh, it... It bothers me a little bit that they've done that. I just don't understand the reasoning behind it. Was it, like, an intentional trick? I don't know. Again, it's not like a massive deal, but it does. This is weird to me. There's also a painting up here, or rather, the solution to a painting is up here. It's like straight ahead down there somewhere, looking up at that Tower of Shadow. But you might need to do it at the end of the game, I'm not sure. Is this... I think this is the NPC with the funniest armor description, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Let's find out, shall we? Take a quick sippy. See if he, like, one-shots me, too. Did the AI just not know how to deal with that attack, or am I being am I getting lucky, or what's going on? This is hilarious. Right now, they just really don't know how to deal with that. sad, actually. Oh, that would have been so cool, buddy. Why didn't you die, like, mid-air? Oh, I'm really sad now. I'm determined to kill you with Giant Hunt, which will probably get me killed. Come on. Here we go. Whee! Yeah, give me your items. 
80,000 souls, not bad. I, it's so funny. I wish to be a bear. No more, no less. The world's first Elden Ring furry. What is... <laughs> uh, no, where's his hat? That's not it. That set's really cool, though. Um, it's kind of heavy, actually. That actually looks pretty stupid. I thought it might look cooler than that. Alright, back to... I think I was using that for a while, but... I, think I kind of just prefer the headband, the commoners one. And the aristocrat one. Um, anyway. Yeah, so there's like... There's this place, which has two-handed talisman in. Uh, then you can go down there. Which... I forget where exactly that leads to, but a whole bunch of optional stuff. Up here, optional stuff. Then there's like a dungeon, like here. But, uh, uh, could do the dungeon, I suppose. Yeah, why not? Although, looking at the time, I might have to be pretty quick about it. What dungeon is it over here? It's not Dark Light. It's definitely a catacomb. I think it must be. Oh god, this area. The, over like to my right, there's the disgusting foragers who shoot their ropes at you. I hate it. Grey birds, black quill armor. Can I? Better not risk it. I hate these enemies so much. Can we fly? Don't shoot me with your ropes. No. No! Quit it, Kumas. Yeah. Well, I guess when I'm editing this video, if it looks like it's too long with all this just running, I might just edit that stuff out. Or speed it up, and then you can hear my voice being like, Oh, I'm all sped up. Oh, man. I was thinking just uh, just after I stopped recording, after beating Rolana. Um, what was I thinking? Ah, I hate those bugs. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a there's a song where s <laughs> the lyrics, some of the lyrics, they kind of remind me of Rolana. Mostly because there's like one line was it's like, "My kind of lady is silver and crazy." Which, uh, I'd say that kind of matches her. She's pretty crazy and pretty silver. Her armor's awesome, by the way. Was considering using it on this character, but I used it on another character already, so, you know. Cookbook. There's an armor set somewhere around here, actually, which I'm... I'm fairly certain the armor set I'm thinking of, which I seem to have missed. I'm sure it's a cut armor set from the main game, which people saw in the game files. I could be wrong, but it definitely gives me that vibes of that. Um, that song, by the way, is uh, called, I think it's called Hardcore by Beast in Black. Is that a Berserk reference? Pretty sure it is, yeah, because they just have some straight up Berserk songs. They're a. I think they're a Finnish band. Yeah, they're pretty good. You know, for a country that's like. The population of Finland is like two people, and both of them are like. in metal bands. <laughs> you know, it's Finland, tiny population, but they somehow are still everywhere. Uh, I've been to Finland twice. As a matter of fact, once in the winter, once in the summer. I had a, a girlfriend who was Finnish. Maybe I will phone her right now and ask her, where is this armor set? She'd be like, Protocolae! She wouldn't know. No one knows. I'm about to have a conniption fit. Here. Where is this armor? Which kind of reminds me of Godfrey's in a... Is it up here? I swear it was like on a ledge. 
Is this it? There it is. Yay. Now there's also... Don't even consider visiting Anor Londo. Where's the big bear boss? I swear there was like a bear boss right here somewhere. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't need to... Oh, there he is. Oh, I guess I'm recording the fight and the bear. Bear up. Oh, ogre time. You know we bring it in. Oh, he, look, he's not wasting any time. Rugalia, the great bird bear. I might have deserved that. Oh, I didn't deserve that one. I actually did, because I saw he was doing a double. Um, I want a drink. Rude! Oh no, Ogre, you're sitting down, but you should be standing up. Uh-oh. should be bleeding. Ow, I'm bleeding. There is blood coming from everywhere. Oh, Ogre, you're too weak. Why are you not... You got the... I guess because you're red, that gives you resistance to bleeding. That tracks. Alright, we've got a, got a new plan coming here. What is that? Oh, you killed... What are you, Tigrex? Get out of here. Uh, I didn't realize I was playing Dark Souls 2 today. <laughs> I keep thinking that one's going to explode after. Alright. Do you have a grab? You're being unreasonable right now, man. What is this garbage thing you're doing? I was the one who blocked game. I'm running out of my juice. What? You don't see me. He saw me, I think. Did you see me? No, I'm not here. Go away. Right, yeah. Oh, you know, you know, Lieutenant. No, you know, Smack Lieutenant. This sucks. He's going forward with infinite momentum, too. Well, come for me. That didn't knock you down. Okay, I guess that one just didn't hit you. No, no. Yes, that's all we want. Huh. Mmm, gotcha. Look at me. But don't do your infinite damage roll. Idiot, I'm gonna let Lieutenant finish you off. My girl, she did it. Lord, that was a lot of souls. Lieutenant, you never let me down. You, you only let me down in the sense that sometimes the enemies get mad and come and slap you to death because you're weak. I wish we could, like, upgrade her somehow. Give her her wolf, like, all the time. Can you imagine how busted she would be? I'd love that. Um, well, looking at the time... Maybe I don't have time to do the dungeon today. 
I can grab the bonfire for it. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, all the dungeons have like a weird little gimmicky thing going on. This one is the Eye of Sauron. Scorpion River, Catacombs. Um, plug, we still got a bit of time, but probably not enough to do this dungeon, I think, so. Instead, I think... Yeah, I think we got time to do uh, more things, because that, that's a short area. Yeah, we could either do more through ruins, or we could do, um, down to... Curse you, Bale! I'm gonna put my harpoon in you! Alright, let's go through the Morther Ruins. Uh, there's actually a, a, a dragon, like, over in that direction, who has the most amount of health you've ever seen, at least in, uh, in co-op stuff. It was crazy. The, like, he must have had like a hundred thousand health or something. It, it was wild. Shattered Stone Talisman. Which, um, I, I will kill him, but it probably won't be on camera because you've already seen me fight that guy on camera. This is just another one, so it's like, what's the point? And doing it again. Mm. Oh, I can't play video games anymore. It's gone. Oh yes. See, that's that's part of it. Like, part of the reason why I don't just do all this in uh, everything. Because Elden Ring, as much as I love Elden Ring, it does uh, kind of copy paste some content. That's funny. <laughs> I was just talking about that uh, Finnish friend of mine and she just sent me a message or a picture. Uh, a meme. <laughs> a meme. No doubt. Um, man, I miss I miss Starlight. It's such a, such a great spell. Because this game is so dark. Mmm, Golden Horn Tender. It's like a chicken tender, but... Hornia. Why do they call them chicken tenders? I mean, you know, you know what they call them here uh, in McDonald's uh, in England. You, you can get chicken tenders basically, but they call them chicken selects, which is maybe an even stupider name. Oh, then oh, I don't like what's happened here. Damn balls. I'm gonna fly. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to struggle to hit anything. Who opened this chest? Golden arcs. Um not a huge fan of that spell. Like, it's not bad, but it's not my kind of thing. A lot of my favourite spells are pretty garbage, though. Like, I think Radagon's Rings of Light is one of the coolest spells in the game. It's not really that good. I mean, it has its uses. I don't know why I did that. That was unnecessary. But it's just really... It's not... It's not great. Gotta charge it up a lot, too. I do really like the multi-layered Rings of Light incantation which they added in uh, this expansion. I see this expansion as if there's going to be another one. That'd be really cool. Just don't think it's going to happen. They did uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Now they need to do, like, 
shadow of the nerd tree. <laughs> but, you know, it's, you know, it's like, if, if people like the first expansion, why not do another one? You know? Because, let's face it, Elden Ring 2 would probably not really be super different anyway, you know? Like Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls, like, sometimes the games don't change a huge amount. Which, I'm not, like, saying it's a huge issue, but at that point, you could also just make it an, an expansion. This is a interesting area, the Bonnie Jail. Or oh, actually, we're in the Bonnie Village. The Bonnie Jail is down there. And the main reason I wanted to record this area is because um, it's a gesture, for one thing. That's why we keep flame of the red mains. It's uh, my AOE. If we if we find any like giant health sponge bosses, I could probably just uh, put on black flame tornado. I forget the name of it, but that thing. Yay, revered spirit ass. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I lose my train of thought like crazy. It makes you wonder how I even function as a human being. Barely would be the answer for that. Oh, we're even closer to the jagged mountain. But that's not where we're going right now. Oh, oh balls. Hello. I forgot about you. Greater potentate. Don't sharpen your weapon at me. Who's throwing crap at me? Oh, he's still sharpening his weapon at me. How? That's unfortunate. Oh, so is that. Fell off a ledge that was like two feet tall. Not even. That's absolutely not going to hit. Okay, buddy, I need you to cease living for one thing. Oh, you thought you could jump, but I jumped. More jumping. Yes, Sienna. More jumping. More pumping. Um, I think I'm okay. There is an event that happens there. I don't think I want to trigger it just yet, though. Oh, there's a bonfire right there. Can I... Whipping heart. Places in the jar. Sainthood awaits you. For shamans like you, this is your lot. Shamans. Shaman is how we pronounce it in the UK, I believe. Shaman in America. I get them mixed up a lot, though, to be honest, and I don't think it really matters. I hope I don't trigger this event here. I just want the bonfire game. I know there's at least two spots where this event can trigger. This is one of them. But I think I'm okay. Um, yeah. One thing is that event, which will trigger later on. But also, uh, two little queer anomalies up over here. And uh, we'll look at them, then we'll grab the Bonnie Jail bonfire, and that will be it for today. Which, honestly... Nothing's happened, which is unfortunate. We've just been waddling around. I guess we fought a bear and he was like, Hey, hey guys, welcome to Goopy Games. I'll be there. Oof. Time for a quick sippy. <laughs> tricked me. I thought he was going to go back again. 
put some clothes on. Just north of the suffering we find. Oh, mother. I wish we had item descriptions for gestures. And also this, which... One of the weirdest things in the DLC. Uh, leave your theories down below. <laughs> Mm, it could mean so many things, which it, it it doesn't bother me, but it's one of those things where it, it feels almost so random that you could have like a million theories. Can you get up here? Mm. Oh. That's... Interesting, but I couldn't really lock onto that guy. Oh, you poised, huh? <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. You died on your feet. Yeah, props to you. What's the point in killing those guys? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's like, a serpent's shed scales, I like, this could mean almost anything. If we're going by, like, even just snakes in the game, you have, you know, Mesmer and Rikard are probably the big, you know, snake-themed characters, because they are stoked. But, you know, you can look at it figuratively as well, as literally. I must admit, I don't like looking at things figuratively all that often in these games, because I think at that point you enter the realm of it could be literally like anything. This is a pretty good tactic, like hide your face in the ground and then you can't be criticaled. Sure, whatever. Hacker man. How about we do a double hit? No, one. Oh. God, disgusting. Doll. Whatever, you yeah, fool. And here we have the Bonnie Jail, the second, well, that we found of the, the jails. There's three jails, question mark? Bonnie Jail, the Bellarat Jail, and the... Hypogean Hi Gow! <laughs> this one... Ooh, what a way! But, um, yeah, no, I guess that's going to do it for right now. Hmm. I apologize if this episode hasn't been very interesting. And again, that, that's the reason why I'm not really doing everything, because there'd be so much just waddling around like this. Um, yeah, I think next time we're going to... Because um, there's no real major bosses there. At some point we'll do that, too. Maybe we'll head down this direction next time, like from here. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Silvermont Z. See ya.